All right, so today guys, we're looking at creating a residual plot in Excel. Okay, so again, we've got the same set of data that we've used for the last couple, uh, for the scatter plot and the regression line. Uh, if you want to use that, open it up. If not, can you copy this table down so we can begin? Okay, to start with, I'm going to go into my data tab and then go data analysis. Okay, if you don't have this, you need to go back to the other Excel. I think it was the correlation coefficient uh, to see how to add that in. Okay. Once I go in there, I click in there, and again, same thing is we're going down to regression. Okay, so click on regression and then go OK. Now, this time we need to do the same thing that we had done last time. Okay, so we need to think of what was our Y range. If you can remember back, it was looking at height versus arm span. So our height um, for the question was our Y value. Okay, that was our response value. Okay, the second thing was our x value, so the explanatory variable, we were looking at the arm span and if that had a relation on the height. Okay, once we've done this, same as what we had done before, but instead of clicking OK now, what we are going to do is go residuals and residual plots. Okay, once we get to there, we can go ahead and click OK and it is going to spit out our residual plot. Okay. Once we've got this, this is the main bit that we're looking at. Again, think back to when we were doing scatter plots when Miss Sharp went through you, is all our data sort of scattered down the end here. Okay, we've got all of it chunked in one little bit. So again, we can do the same thing. Click on there and go for our minimum. Okay, minimum here looks to be about 150. So I'm going to go in and enter 150. Okay. Again, then we can go and change all our titles and axes as we wish, but this is gives us the idea of how to create a residual plot in Excel.